Forecast back here at home with next weather meteorologist Tammy Sue's. I've got lots of games to watch this weekend. We've got lots of games. God, I have a lot of red dresses I got to wear over the next <laughs> few days as well. We're all dressed in red. Let's head outside because right now we are dealing with a chilly start to our day, but it is a very pretty start. We're going to see the clouds increase as the temperature rises slightly, but it is not going to be a terribly warm day. So you can see those clouds off uh, to the side of your TV screen, and you can see those beginning to drift into the area. Blue skies across Center City. Right now, though, temperature is on the nippy side. It is 48 in Philadelphia, 42 in Allentown, 49 in Wilmington, and 48 for all of you in Atlantic City. Now, the clouds are being pushed in. This is all uh, kind of connected to that storm system that is down in Texas. This is actually part of it that separated out and it is sailing through our area. So we will see these clouds increase. You can see full cloud cover across parts of the western portion of our state. So we continue with these northeast winds. Chilly regime today. Here we are. At 5:30, we have that mix of sun and clouds out there. Heavy on the clouds by later today. We go into tomorrow afternoon, bright sunshine, a beautiful day out there. We still have those nipping northeast winds. Then we head into Sunday. Now Sunday we start at 7:30 in the morning with sun and a few clouds. Clouds increase throughout the day. It will be dry for the Eagles at one. It will be dry for the Union at eight, though we do not see any rain. For today, we climb all the way to 61 with those increasing clouds. Then those clouds start to clear out overnight. Leading into that sunshine tomorrow. Now, down in the heart of Texas, we're looking at this area of low pressure swirling around, bringing this line of very strong and severe storms toward the Houston area. Here's what happens with our World Series storm. We see that activity all day today. By tonight, 8, 9 o'clock, still ongoing, but it is a retractable roof. The roof is closed. It's just outside the stadium. It'll be nasty. We get into tomorrow night, partly cloudy. The storm is out of there. And then it does something unusual. It bounces from Houston straight toward Philly. Usually they slide along the Gulf and come up the coast. Not happening. So Sunday night, we are dry. We are cloudy, but the showers move in for your Monday. And here we are at game time. Scattered showers. Good news is it looks like Tuesday will be mainly dry, a shower in the morning, and then clearing out to partly cloudy skies at night. And on Wednesday looks pretty good. So here we go. We're going to be in the 60s down in uh, Houston. Thunderstorms today, partly cloudy for tomorrow. Bringing it back here at home, we're going to be in the low to mid 60s. The chance of showers on Monday, but games four and five look fantastic with clear skies. Your weekend, 62 degrees for Saturday, 64 on Sunday with increasing clouds. Sunday, a fairly seasonal. Day. Then we head into our Monday. Both Halloween and Game 3 look like they could be wet at night, so carry the rain gear with you, and especially you little trick or treaters. Then we dry out. Look at Tuesday, 70 degrees, 71 on Wednesday. When we will be clinching one of those two days. That's our hope, though, right? That is exactly what we're focused on, guys. Back to you.